Hello everyone, my name is Azatro, how are you? And welcome to another Star Wars gaming news video of mine. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about what and when we can expect information on Jedi Fallen Order, future Battlefront 2 content, and more Star Wars gaming news based on educated guesses from the past few years and, you know, stuff we've actually been given for dates of events that are happening later this year. But before I do get into this Star Wars gaming news information, I just want to give a quick shout out to the Star Wars Alliance Discord server. They've been looking for new members and asked if I could help. The server hosts regular trivia events, giveaways, and squads in Battlefront, and if you're looking for a welcoming place for all things Star Wars, this is the Discord for you. There'll be a link in the description below to that server. Okay, so the first event on the calendar coming up in April, which is really close to be honest, it's only three months away, it is Star Wars Celebration Chicago 2019. And on the Saturday, which will be April 30th, that is likely when we'll be getting Star Wars gaming news. Because in past years, we've had Star Wars gaming news the day after they've had big announcements of the film. So, you know, a trailer and stuff like that. It's usually the day after, which has always been a Saturday. So April 13th seems to be the most likeliest we'll get a Jedi Fallen Order reveal, potentially a panel just like Battlefront 2. There's also a small chance of a teaser before Celebration, like they did with Battlefront 2, maybe just a few days before, we just don't know. We will find out the day of the reveal and stuff like that roughly a few weeks in advance, so probably at the start of April, end of March. It is entirely possible they also reveal news about future Battlefront 2 content during Celebration. It's also possible that we will get a little bit of info about the open world game that's coming out, but I doubt it. I think it's unlikely to be at Celebration. Also in spring, the Oculus VR Quest headset is releasing, meaning we could be getting part one of the Vader Immortal series in spring. But no time frame has been revealed yet other than within the launch window of Quest, which typically means within the first year, but it does mean 2019 in terms of what they've been marketing. They've been saying it's 2019, it's coming out. And the next big Oculus event is happening during F8, which starts on April 30th with a development conference. So this could be the release date of the Quest because the Oculus Go headset was released on the day of the previous F8 event last year, so this could also be the Immortal release date. Next up we have EA Play in June. Well, they've not actually officially announced the dates that it's happening, but last year they did reveal the dates on February 22nd, so I think we'll hear something next month relating to the dates for EA Play and when you'll be able to pre-register for tickets and stuff like that. EA Play typically takes place on the Saturday before E3 in June, and E3 starts on June 11th this year, so EA Play is likely to be June 8th if this follows the previous years. This also means we'll see more of Jedi Fallen Order, most likely a long gameplay demo, potentially something about Battlefront 2 content if they're still going to be making content later on in 2019, but the focus will be Jedi Fallen Order as it is EA's biggest holiday release later this year. As for EA Star Wars news as a whole, which also includes the open world game, I think we may get an update on that, or if they're making another game, I don't know. I think this will be the year they really need to talk about EA Star Wars and start talking about future projects because, you know, last year has been pretty bare. We literally got nothing other than the announcement of Jedi Fallen Order and not a lot of Battlefront 2 content, so they really need to pull something out of the bag this year and talk about a lot of things Star Wars. The next event up is Gamescom. It's happening in August on the 19th to the 24th, and just like the past few years, EA will likely show EA Star Wars stuff, but focus on Fallen Order again this year, because again, it is the main game for this year for EA. And then we have D23, which is Disney's Expo, and this will be on August 23rd to 25th. There might be a possibility EA may reveal something, or at least Disney and Lucasfilm will reveal something about Jedi Fallen Order, but because it's just after Gamescom, literally a few days after, 
I highly doubt it this year. I was expecting Disney Expo to be a little bit earlier in August, but no, um, I think they'll just keep it for Gamescom and nothing will happen at D23. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you learned something new. Let me know in the comment section below what you think and you know remember to plan these dates because there's big things coming. I cannot wait to hear more about Jedi Fallen Order. You know, we could be very close to an episode 9 reveal apparently and uh, that's going to start the Star Wars hype train for this year because we've got that coming and then obviously everything's going to be announced and shown off at Star Wars Celebration in April. I cannot wait for that. It's going to be awesome. I'm super excited for Jedi Fallen Order. It's going to be my must-have game for this year. I just hope it's really, really cool and a good game. Check out any of the two previous videos on screen if you did miss them and I shall see you all in my next Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. Goodbye.